Hey everybody! We finally got our car seat! I'm so excited! Um, it's the Diano Radiant RXT convertible car seat. And it's from birth to booster. 5 pounds to 120 pounds. So yeah, they have like the special, like all this padding stuff is for like for the newborn. And when it's rear facing it, it lays down. It rear faces up to 45, yeah. From 5 to 45 pounds, 4 faces from 20 to 80 pounds, and then it turns into a booster seat where you put the adult seat belt on um, to 120 pounds, which is pretty exciting. It's the only car seat I'm going to have to buy. Well, I think this one lasts, usually car seats last 6 years before they expire, and this one lasts 8, because it's made from stainless steel and memory foam, so, which is pretty exciting. Okay. So let me show you the other baby buys and the baby stuff that we got. Um, the, one of the first things that I bought was this. My boyfriend and I went out of town and when I was working at uh, one of the daycares that I used to work at was a Christian was a Christian daycare. Um, so we had to like you know read the Bible and stuff like that, which I love. I absolutely love because I'm I'm you know I'm a big believer in Christ and everything and stuff like that. So um, I want my baby to be familiar with the Bible and all the stories and stuff like that. So I got this, which is one of the books that I had, but it wasn't this thick. Like the one that I had at the daycare was like maybe half of this. It was like the exact same book, but it was half, so I don't think it had all the stories. So this one has, I think, 200? Yeah, 200 stories. So it's pretty exciting with the New Testament and the Old Testament. So I was very excited to actually finally get it, because where I live... Like, 95% of the people that, in the city that I live in, actually, they're actually Mexicans, and so, they all speak Spanish. So, the majority of the, the stuff that they sell in stores, um, are Spanish. So, I looked everywhere where I live, and all these, these Bibles were, I only found them in Spanish, so. And I didn't want to go back to the daycare and ask her where she got the one in English from, so, so when we went out of town, I went to Barnes & Noble, and they had it there, so I was really excited to have it in English, although we do plan to speak to our baby in Spanish and English, but, um, I don't, like, I don't speak Spanish, so, like, I don't want to, yeah, <laughs> I don't want to have to try to read to my baby in Spanish, so, anyway, yeah, another one of the things that I got, I, I actually bought this, I think this was, what, was $20? Oh, sixteen ninety nine. I think it came out to about twenty dollars. Um, and, and another one was this. I think this one was sixteen, fifteen ninety nine or sixteen ninety nine. But it was on sale for twelve dollars. So, and I thought it was the cutest because I'm big on painting and art and all that stuff. So, and I'm not big on baby blue stuff for my baby. So this is like a lime green with like a dark blue and it has like paint splatters everywhere. It's a little onesie button up, long sleeve. This is three months. So I thought it was super cute. It was so adorable. So yeah, I just had to get it. I was scared that it was gonna be sold out, so I grabbed one. So yeah, I may go back and get the other ones in the other sizes. Um. So yeah. Um. Also, uh, at our gender party, um. One of my boyfriend's aunts, or I guess you could say his cousin, had a little boy, but his aunt uh, saved a lot of the clothes and stuff. Some of these clothes still have tags on it. Some of them were, like, you know, gently used and stuff like that. So um, I don't mind hand-me-downs. Um, Madeline is just crying, crying, crying. She's in the room right now. She's not allowed to be wandering the house. This is not our house. We're not living... We're living with Bob's uh, parents' house. At Bob's parents' house, so... Yeah. Um, I'm going to take her outside right now so she can just run around. Anyway, um, so yeah, so she gave us a couple sets of clothes. Um, one of them was this. I thought it was cute. I'm not big on baby blue, but this has green and yellow in it too, so. Although the pants are baby blue, but it's still cute. Um, you can wear them inside, maybe as pajamas and stuff. I really like it. Um, and another one is this shirt. What size is this one? Six months. And this is zero to three months. It's just a cute long sleeve shirt. That was adorable. 
they like to buy stuff, um, like stylish stuff for their for their boys. So yeah, this one still has the tags on it. At least I think this is one. Yeah, this one still has the tags on it. And what size is this one? Six months. So yeah, it's just like a little uh, pair of pants that have like, little feet with footballs and a little flannel jacket and has a hood and everything. So I thought that was cute. This one I love. It's like a little romper, a little boy's romper, and it has like guitars and everything. Let me see if it has anything on the back. Oh yeah, it has a guitar on the butt. I thought it was so cute. And it's a navy blue, so pretty awesome. Another one was this one was a little lion. I thought it was super cute. Oh, sorry. The line coming out the other side. This one has a little romper. I thought it was cute. Um, and this one is just a little... Oh, I can't be bending. Let me stand up straight. Um, it has, like, little animals on it. And, like, a little pair of uh, pants. Long sleeve. I wonder what size this is. What size is this? This one is six months. And the guitar one, I think, yeah, is six months. And this one is three to six months. So, yeah, these are cute. And then another little romper. The onesie that's inside, I don't think it comes with it. Um, it's just like a little onesie with a with a little car on it. And then this is another little romper that has a car. And then it has, like, a, a car on the butt, too, which is so cute. And the uh, onesie is three to six months. And the romper is six months. So yeah, there are those that we got, um, and she has like three other bags I think she said that we can go through and grab some of the clothes, which I love, because when they're this little, they grow out of things so fast, and it's just better to, I mean I don't mind buying like nice things for like special occasions like church and stuff like that, like that's what we're going to use this this one for, is church, um, but they grow so fast, and you know, it's just better just to get hand-me-downs and stuff like that when they're that little. Um, because we're not going to be, like, going out all the time. Anyway, so one of Bob's friends came to our gender party, and he didn't know if we were, obviously, if we were having a boy or a girl, so he got us a gift, one of each, which is really sweet of him. Um, we can always save this stuff or gift it, um, to somebody else. So I'm going to show you the girl stuff first. So he just got us, like, these cute little pacifiers. Which, actually, we do not plan on using pacifiers. I'm not a big fan. I never... Any of the kids that I've ever taken care of, I've never used pacifiers. Um, like, especially at the daycares. They don't allow them at the daycares that I've worked at. So, I mean, the kids didn't need them. And I used to take care of um, these newborn twins and their two-year-old sister. And they never... None of them ever took pacifiers. Like, the parents just never bought them and everything. And, and just like, I don't know. There's other ways of comforting the child, in my opinion, than sticking a pacifier in their mouth. Um, so, that's just my opinion, though. Nothing against them with other people, but um, I don't plan on using them with my child. Uh, and the other one, he got us this little purse, which I thought was super cute. Some little hair clips. Um, all in these little shoes. They're so cute. They have little princess crowns on them. And pair of socks. So, little ruffles, which I think is super cute. So, yeah. And then for the boys, he got us a pair of shoes. This touchdown. Navy blue, which I love. He also got us some um, pacifiers as well, but I can always gift them to somebody else. But I guess I can hold on to them just in case, but I don't plan on using them. <coughs> and then a pair of socks, like gray, white, and navy blue, which is awesome. I love dark colors on my boys. I'm not a big fan of baby blue. So, yeah. I think that was it. So, yeah. I forgot to show you another thing that I actually had bought. I got these at Hobby Lobby. They're like the um, dividers that you put in the closet. I just have them here for right now so I don't lose them. Um, so, they're just like little, cute little dividers. They have like stars and um, like mechanical stuff and stripes and stuff like that. Oh, sorry. And it has like, you could separate the clothes 0 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 12, 12 to 18, and 18 to 24. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that. I think these were 4 99 but I used a 40% off. So they came out to like 2 something or, yeah, I think it came out to like 2 something. So yeah, I got those.